I am Dr. Rajesh Mishra, working as Glaucoma Cataract and LASIK Consultant as Advanced Eye Hospital, a unit of Dr. Agarwal Eye Hospital at Navi Mumbai. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, glaucoma diagnosis and treatment. As we know, glaucoma is the second most common cause of blindness in the whole over the world. And glaucoma is basically silent killer of vision. Patient initially will not be aware of uh, this vision problem that they have lost their peripheral vision. Once they come for eye checkup, that is also routine eye checkup to our hospital, most of the patient will come to know that they have some kind of optic nerve damage or pressure is high or their peripheral vision is already lost. So as we know, like optic nerve damage is permanent, usually optic nerve never regenerates. So whatever damage is already there, it will not be revert in future. So as we know, glaucoma is the disease of optic nerve, the nerve which is connecting your eye to your brain. Usually glaucoma damage happens once you cross age 40, it is age related weakness of the optic nerve. So once patient comes to our hospital, we do routine checkup, there we find that if pressure is high or patient's optic nerve is damaged or patient's peripheral vision is weak, then we start battery of test, routine tests are available for glaucoma diagnosis and once glaucoma diagnosis is confirmed then we have to start the treatment. So optic nerve damage is uh, permanent if there is any optic nerve damage or side vision loss that can't be cured again but what we can do we can stop the progression of the disease so that whatever vision you have that we can preserve in future. Early diagnosis of the disease is very important. For the diagnosis of glaucoma, there are few routine tests available. First of all, we have to check the eye pressure. That is most important thing in the treatment and uh, like monitoring of the disease. Where we check the eye pressure uh, with the help of uh, applanation tonometer or in some patients, in routine checkup, we can do with the non contact tonometer also. Uh, eye pressure is very important parameter for the diagnosis as well as treatment of the glaucoma. Usually, the eye pressure varies between 10 to 21. More than 21 pressure is cut off, like for glaucoma. If it is more than 21 on multiple session, definitely it indicates that you have high eye pressure and it needs further evaluation. Second test is pachymetry, there we check your corneal, central corneal thickness. If corneal thickness is thin compared to normal average population, that is again one risk factor for the glaucoma. And there are some correction factors depend on your corneal thickness, which will give us actual reading of the eye pressure. Next checkup is gonioscopy. Gonioscopy usually decides whether your Glaucoma is open angle or closed angle glaucoma. The glaucoma is broadly of two types. If there is angle closer glaucoma, then we have to do laser aerodotomy to open the blockage between angles. If it is open angle glaucoma, then we have to start medical management. Acute angle closer glaucoma is medical emergency. There, the eye pressure will be very high. Patient will have eye pain, redness. So we have to diagnose the disease at the earliest and we have to start the treatment to reduce the eye pressure. One eye, eye pressure once will come down, then we have to do laser aerodotomy to uh, clear the blockage and we have to continue glaucoma treatment thereafter. Next test is very important. It is known as perimetry test where we have to assess the peripheral vision of the patient. As you know, like glaucoma is the disease of the optic nerve, but it affects your peripheral vision. Central vision initially will be intact. There will be no damage in the central vision initially. But as your glaucoma progresses, the peripheral vision will gradually become weak and ultimately it will affect the central vision. One of the most important tests in glaucoma is perimetry test. In perimetry test, we have to assess your side vision, peripheral vision, because in glaucoma, the optic nerve gets damaged, but your peripheral vision will be affected. So in this test, a visual field test will 
provide us a map of your complete field of vision. This test will help a doctor to determine whether your vision has been affected by glaucoma or not. So in front of you, there will be multiple lights uh, present and there will be flickering light. Once you are seeing the light, you have to press the button. And at the end of the result, machine will determine that uh, your peripheral vision was normal or abnormal. There are a lot of parameters that we have to see and accordingly we have to decide whether this perimeter test was within normal limits or there was some damage in your peripheral vision. And the most important test of the glaucoma is your optic nerve assessment. Uh, usually optic nerve assessment is done clinically by glaucoma specialist. We have to see whether your optic nerve is healthy or not. If any weakness is there, then we have to document it. We have to compare it with other eye. Uh, once we see that there is some weakness in the optic nerve, then we can assess or we can further document it by doing OCT. OCT is optical coherence tomography test. There we check your optic nerve cup to disc ratio. We see your asymmetry between two optic nerve cupping and uh, we check your retinal nerve fiber layers also. This test will be very helpful in diagnosis glaucoma, especially early glaucoma, as well as it can uh, be used as a tool for monitoring the glaucoma progression also. So question lies why there are so many tests for glaucoma diagnosis. Glaucoma disease is mostly clinical, but we have to grade the glaucoma, we have to see the progression of the disease which will definitely uh, with the help of perimetry test and OCT test will uh, confirm the progression as well as you know like uh, efficacy of the treatment. In glaucoma treatment, the treatment is for lifelong like any uh, clinical conditions, systemic conditions like diabetes or BP, once you start the treatment you have to continue with the treatment for the lifelong. Similarly, in glaucoma also, whatever treatment we are starting, we have to continue the treatment for the lifelong and it needs regular follow-up, regular monitoring just to rule out the progression of the disease. So once the diagnosis of glaucoma is confirmed, we have to see what has caused the disease. Uh, the glaucoma is in which stage, like it is mild, moderate or severe and which eye is more affected. Accordingly, we have to modify the treatment. In follow-ups, we have to see whether you are developing any side effects of the treatment. In most of the patients, uh, if they are using glaucoma drops, they might have redness, itching or irritation. Uh, we have to see and titrate your eye pressure in follow-ups. And in long run, definitely we have to see whether glaucoma is progressing or it is stable. We have to always check your peripheral vision as well as optic nerve health in every visit. So another aspect of glaucoma treatment is laser treatment. There are three types of laser available. Uh, laser aerodotomy uh, is advised in angle closure glaucoma. There a small opening is made to drain the accumulated fluid inside the eye so that pressure will come down. Second is laser aerodoplasty, there we enhance the aqueous drainage through drainage pathway. And third is cyclodiode laser, uh, cyclodiode laser is advised in uh, terminal, terminal stage of glaucoma where because of glaucoma you are having eye pain and redness and obviously there will be no vision in advanced stage. So the idea is to disrupt the ciliary body so that there will be less aqueous production as well as after the laser your pressure will come down and pain will be relieved. Coming upon glaucoma surgery part, uh, glaucoma surgery is advised when patient is on multiple medications and glaucoma is not controlled, either pressure is on the higher side or uh, even after putting drops we are seeing that glaucoma is progressing. In some patients, after putting multiple medications, they might have redness or pain or you know like side effects of glaucoma drops will be there and they really don't want to continue with the drops. In that case also, we can advise glaucoma surgery if they have advanced glaucoma. In few patients, if they have coexisting cataract, then also we can combine cataract surgery as well as glaucoma surgery. So, most common glaucoma surgery nowadays is trabeculectomy that is that can be done with mitomycin C or olozen implant. 
and uh, in most of the patients if they have coexisting cataract we can combine cataract surgery with trabeculectomy the result, results after surgery is fantastic because after cataract surgery their central vision will improve and once we combine glaucoma surgery their eye pressure will also be controlled after the surgery so effectively after surgery there will be minimum minimum dependency on the glaucoma drops and their lifestyle and quality of life will improve after the surgery a uh, second type of glaucoma surgery is uh, shunt surgery it is advisable in few complicated glaucoma where like uh, new vascular glaucoma or if they have multiple failed trabeculectomy there we can do shunt surgery most common shunt we are using nowadays is ehmer glaucoma valve shunt or rd shunt so few other types of glaucoma surgeries are also available like trabeculotomy uh, deep sclerectomy disco canalostomy so depending upon glaucoma surgery uh, requirement the stage of glaucoma the disease severity glaucoma surgeon can decide which glaucoma surgery will suit to their patient so overall glaucoma surgery or combined cataract and glaucoma surgery is required to improve the patient's quality of life and hopefully after the surgery the patient will become drop free